Zhang Liang, General of Man, is the first boss in Wolong Fallen Dynasty, and he is surprisingly difficult, but not impossible to defeat. There are some basic mechanics you will need to understand in order to be successful here. First thing you'll need to get good at is deflecting, aka parrying, by pressing the dodge button just before an enemy attack lands. This is because dodging repeatedly drains your spirit, putting you into the orange part of the spirit meter at the bottom of your screen. When that orange meter is full, you'll be put into spirit disruption if hit, opening you up to a devastating attack. Getting hit by enemy attacks will also drain your spirit. Meanwhile, deflecting enemy attacks generates spirit, putting you into the blue part of the spirit meter. This will allow you to dodge more freely and can be used to fuel powerful martial arts or chi attacks. Landing basic attacks on an enemy will also generate spirit. In addition, all of this will lower an enemy's spirit gauge, making them easier to put into spirit disruption, which is a stunned and defenseless state. The most important attacks to deflect are the critical blows, indicated by a glowing red symbol on the enemy right before they attack. Deflecting a critical blow will greatly lower the capacity of an enemy's spirit gauge. Once you've emptied an enemy's spirit gauge, they will be in spirit disruption, and at that point you can press the spirit attack button near them to perform a fatal strike. This deals a massive amount of damage and it'll be our main source of damage for this first boss fight since our other options are so limited. Okay, now let's talk about phase 1 of the Zhang Liang fight. I mainly used the polearm for this fight as it has good range and staggers Zhang fairly well during his first phase. My main method of damaging him would be to deflect one of his basic attacks and quickly follow it with a full combo of normal attacks. If Zhang was staggered on the last hit and within range, I would usually follow up with either a spirit attack or a chi slash martial arts attack. When Zhang's health bar is in the green, he will generally do a single critical blow attack. It has a slight delay, but once you get the timing down, it's not too difficult to deflect. Just keep up with the pattern of deflect, basic attacks, martial art or spirit attack, rinse and repeat, and be on the lookout for Zhang's critical blow attacks. Once Zhang's health is in the red, you will have a chance of doing a double critical blow attack. This means you will need to deflect two red attacks in a row. Once you can do this reliably, you'll be able to get to the second phase of the fight with a good amount of health potions remaining. Zhang is much more aggressive in phase 2 and he is effectively immune to hit stun from basic attacks. He has some new attacks, but all of them can still be deflected. The key here is to play defensively, avoiding dodging or guarding attacks and instead deflecting attacks. Your goal is to bait out his critical blow, where he attempts to grab you with his demon arm, and then deflect it. This is all but guaranteed to put him into spirit stun, allowing you to perform a fatal strike. Once you've gotten second phase Zhang down a little below half health, you should have charged up your super ability. The blindfolded boy will say, now unleash the power residing in the jade, and at that point you can press both the dodge button and spirit attack button at the same time to use this ultimate attack. In this specific scenario, it will instantly end the fight and lead into a cutscene which I won't be spoiling here. If you want to see more great guides, you can head over to my channel, and if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat, her name's Marshmallow. Have a great day, if you're here today, have a great Thursday, and as always, thanks for watching.